Today we are at the Francia Corta racetrack, one of the most recently built Italian tracks for a truly special day of testing. We want to show how it is possible to improve the track performance of a modern supersport motorcycle acting solely and exclusively on the braking system. Even standard factory brakes on a new generation sport bike can easily fail if used on the track. And the Francia Corta track, a short and winding circuit with close turns that easily cause the braking system to fail, makes for an excellent test bench. For our test, we chose the Yamaha R6 and a top-notch tester, Lucas Gasser, a world-renowned rider with experience in the British Superbike, Supersport and Superbike Championships. We'll work in increasing steps, modifying calipers, discs, hoses, master cylinder and using various pad compounds. First off, however, we'll start with a few laps on the bike with its original configuration, so our test rider can get an idea of the feeling with factory brakes. The bike with the original equipment braking system is a good compromise for the road and the track, although to be honest, something more powerful is needed for track use. So we'll start with the first step of changes which an enthusiast can make to ride on the track, characterised by a fairly limited investment. We'll replace the hydraulic fluid with Brembo Sport AVO 500 Plus, which is less subject to heating compared to the standard fluid, but still has characteristics that make it usable every day on the open road as well. For the first step of pad changes, we chose to test the Brembo SC, which have a sintered compound suitable for amateur sport use. The SC pads are capable of withstanding a much higher temperature than the originals, but they guarantee responsible braking even when cold, so they are also suitable for road use. Finally, we will use braided brake hoses, which are needed to give the lever a better feeling. So the R6 is ready, and we'll head to the track with the first step of changes. Already from the first laps, thanks to the first step of changes, Lucas Casa manages to lower his times by a few tenths. But let's hear how it went directly from him. With the first change to the braking system, the brake hoses and the pads were replaced. The feeling improved a lot. Now the bike behaves a bit like a racing bike. This is a change that I would recommend to anyone who wants to ride on the track at least once a year because compared to the factory bike, it improves braking, the feeling in your hand and how modular it is. Small but definitely useful changes for both track and street use because they improve performance and safety with a limited investment. Now let's get ready for the next step, where we'll make changes above all to the brake master cylinder. Yeah. 